Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read and today I'm going to be doing my October TBR. So I can't believe we're already in October. Like that's, that's mind boggling to me that the year has gone by so quickly and we're already into spooky season. I am very excited to jump into my TBR and share with you guys what I'm going to be reading this month. I'm also very excited because one of those books, I might as well just show it right now, October's Ocean. The book that I agented is coming out on October 1st, which is when you should be seeing this video. So this book is officially out and available for purchase. I will put the links in the description down below so you can go check it out. But if you want to know a little bit more about this book, this book is following a character named Seth, and he is dealing with a lot of grief after the loss of his best friend, who he was also in love with. And so he is trying to deal with all of that and he is also trying to pursue a career in music, but he's in high school right now. So he's trying to get into a music school. Um, and yeah, just a lot is happening in his life. It's set in a coastal town and it's got all of the vibes. It's set around Halloween time. So it's just like perfect for the ghostly season. And uh, yeah, there might be some other ghosts that appear in this book, but it's said that it's like tagline is for people that like Outlander mixed with The Summer I Turned Pretty. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this book if you pick it up. I myself am going to be rereading it this month for October because obviously I've already read it before, but yeah, I'm excited to like actually have the physical copy in my hands and I will be reading it this month. The next book I'm gonna be reading is the third book in the Clown and Cornfield trilogy. So I picked this one up in August and I've been very excited to jump into it and read it. I didn't have it on my last TBR because I was doing the readathon for the Aurelium Magical Readathon. And so I didn't think that I could fit this one into that TBR. Also, the prompts were super specific. So, like, this one didn't really fit any of those prompts either. And that's why. But now I have it and I'm super excited. It's the perfect month to read it October, Halloween. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to jump into this one. This one is a, a horror book set within a small town and it's. In the first book, it was about a bunch of teens that went to this like big cornfield party, but then these clowns show up and start murdering people at the cornfield party. And so like from there, the trilogy goes. Um, I can't really say much else because like this is the last book in the series, so I don't want to give anything else away that happens in between. But I'm very excited to jump back into it and see how this series wraps up because it's just so much fun. It's like picture like campy thriller movie vibes or can't be like horror vibes from like the 80s that's like the style you're getting when you read this book so yeah I'm really looking forward to finishing off the series I've also been really getting into horror lately and so I actually saw this book on Gavin's channel I can't remember what his full channel name is Gavin you guys know Gavin if you're in the booktube world you know who Gavin is um, he showed this book in his video and he wasn't even like talking about this book specifically it was just like a side book that he had that he was um, referring to for other books that he was looking for. And I saw this and I was like, what is this? I need this right away. It's 101 horror books to read before you're murdered, which is like an amazing title to begin with. But I've been perusing through this and I keep seeing a whole bunch more books that I want to read in the horror genre. Like literally every book I read about in here sounds so good. So I've been adding them to my Amazon wish list because I'm just like super excited to like go find these books. And I, what I love about this if I can find the page, oh, I just had it, is this, where it has like, for every recommendation, they have little icons beside them. And these, all these icons tell you like the style of book you're getting. So it's like, one is Mindbender, another one's Psychological, Cults, Haunted House. And Haunted House in particular is one that I was really looking forward to reading. So as I was cruising through this, I was thinking of Haunted House books, and I found one that I actually have on my shelves. That one is White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. Now I've had this as an arc for a long time, but I had not gotten to it yet. And it's about a haunted house and it sounds so good. So like, yeah, I'm definitely jumping into this one and looking for those haunted house vibes. It also says Get Out Meets the Haunting of Hill House. Now I have not read Haunting of Hill House, but I watched the show and I saw Get Out and both of those were phenomenal. So like, if this is anything like those two, I'm so excited to read this. <laughs> um, this is what it says on the back. I'll read the synopsis for you guys. It says, they said you would be coming soon, trying to replace me, but that will never happen because this is my house. 
This will always be my house. You'll learn soon enough. My house, my rules. You won't be staying here long. I'll make sure of that. That sounds so good. I'm like, I'm getting really excited for the spooky vibes and the haunted house vibes. So I think this one is going to be a really fun read. And yeah, I'm just excited in general because like October is the, the scary books reading month and that's what we're doing. The next book I have on my list is Nanny Dearest. And so this one is following a main character who recently loses her father and her mother has already passed away. So she's become orphaned in her mid twenties and she ends up reconnecting with her old nanny, her old nanny that was like a live-in nanny when she was younger. And so the two of them become inseparable once again, as they were when she was younger. And she kind of starts to feel that there's something off about this nanny. And so she starts investigating more into like what happened and why this nanny left um, working with them when she was younger. And so as she explores that more, she kind of finds out some unsettling truths. And from there, we see where it goes. This book is, I think, taking multiple perspectives. So it's like a POV of the main character, Sue, in her 20s. And then I believe it's the perspective of the nanny, whose name is Annie. And it's when she was a nanny for Sue. So it takes place in multiple time, as multiple timelines as well, like in the past and present. So yeah, I think this is going to be interesting. Definitely something that's going to keep me turning the pages to see what happens next. And then back on the track of haunted houses, although I don't know if this one's haunted, but it's another house book. Um, this one's called The Drowning House. And so this one was on my Night Galley TBR, and I'm just going to read off the synopsis here for you guys. It says, A violent storm washes a mysterious house onto a rural Pacific Northwest beach, stopping the heart of the only woman who knows what it means. Her grandson, Simon Culpepper, vanishes in the aftermath, leaving two of his childhood friends to comb the small, isolated island for answers. But decades have passed since Melissa and Leo were close, if they were ever close at all. Now they'll have to put aside old rivalries and grudges if they want to find or save the man who brought them together in the first place. And on the way, they'll learn a great deal about the sinister house on the beach, the man who built it, and the evil he's bringing back to Marrowstone Island. Yeah, it sounds super creepy. Also another like coastal book. So I'm going with those vibes as well this month, I guess. But yeah, no, that sounds intriguing. I definitely like creepy house books. I've realized that that's a thing about me is I do like those kind of books. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing where this one goes. I don't know how intense it'll be. I like the cover though. I really love the colors on the cover too. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. And then the last book I'm going to read is called New York Minute by Stephen Aryan. Now, this is an author that has written books for Angry Robots books, and I haven't read those books by them yet, but I have heard of them. And so he actually reached out to me asking if I wanted to read his new novella coming out, which is this book. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? It sounds interesting. It's a novella, which means I can fly through it pretty quickly. And yeah, so here's the synopsis of this one. After years of being a cop and now a private investigator, there's little that surprises Cole Blackstone. But when someone working for Carl Dolman, the most notorious crime boss in the city, asks for his help, Cole is caught off guard and more than a little afraid. Dolman's daughter, Selena, has gone missing. To prevent a gang war that will tear the city apart, Cole must find her. But the job is being made more difficult as everyone is interfering, cops and criminals, and no one wants him to succeed. Together with his childhood friend, Bracken Hart, the two men must navigate the depths of the city's underworld for answers. In a race against the clock, Cole needs to find out what happened to Selena and who is responsible before the streets run red. Yeah, that sounds pretty interesting and definitely like a page turner because you're going to want to know what's going to happen like every step of the way. So yeah, I wonder how he's going to wrap that all up into a novella sized book, but I'm looking forward to finding out. And those are all the books that I'm going to be reading in the month of October. Um, let me know in the comments what books you are reading if you're reading any like haunted house books or any like creepy creepy books then tell me because I always am on the lookout for more of those and definitely go pick up October's Ocean if you guys feel like you want to support that'd be so amazing but no pressure just just put it out there anyways if you guys want to support me I have a patreon and a coffee page which I'll put in the description down below as well as a link to buy my bookmarks you guys know the drill don't forget to like and subscribe hit that bell notification button so you notify when I post new videos I post them on Tuesdays and Thursdays until next time Keep on reading.